The next several questions all dealt with matching the properties we learned about to the symbol that shows them in an equation. If you can't identify the symbol, you're gonna have a really hard time plugging them into your, your equations. But once you learn this, this little piece, it's going to make using equations so much easier. They just become simple multiplication and division. So let's look at this. The period of a wave is represented by this symbol, period. We know period is a time property. And there is one symbol in there that shows a great big T for time. So a great big T is our period. If you ever forget, remember in that table in lesson one, I showed you all of the symbols and told you, make sure you write this down and memorize it. For B, the wavelength of a wave is represented by this symbol. K, wavelength. Wavelength is a symbol lambda. Remember, it looks kind of like a wave. It has that little wave bit and a tail. That is wavelength. The amplitude of the wave. Okay, this one's pretty easy to remember when you think amplitude. A giant A shows amplitude. And finally, frequency. What little symbol there looks kind of like the beginning of the word frequency? Maybe that little F. Get to know these symbols. It will make a world of difference for you.